I am joined today by the magic of the internet uh, with Danica and Jeb, who are going to be performing the third of our winter concerts at the Crane here at the library on March 15th at 3 o'clock. Danica, Jeb, thanks so much for joining me by the magic of the internet today. It's great to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. So I understand we were talking, you are now in Iowa, uh, you're doing a multi-state tour and you're joining us on part of a national tour. We are so lucky to have you join us. Thank you for coming. Where are you performing? <laughs> where will you be performing before you come to uh, Massachusetts? Where will we be having the benefit of having you, you know, who gets to see you first and where are you going next? Oh, okay, right before Massachusetts, we will be in Michigan. No. And then Toronto, and then we'll be heading your way from there. So you tour, you're playing, you know, most weeks of the year. Do you find yourself on the road? I know that uh, you get a little time off, but. Yeah, last year I think we were on the road for 250 days. Wow. Uh, it's about 130 shows uh, from California to Maine, uh, Canada to Texas, and everywhere in Europe. Hmm. Wow, that is exciting. How many years have you been doing this for? This is 10? 10. 10 or 10 so? now. Wow, that yeah. is awesome. And <laughs> are you, tell me about the stuff that you're performing as you go. How do you, how do you keep it fresh and, and interesting for you as you're performing that many shows? We have, you know, six hours worth of music that we do. Okay. And uh, most shows are an hour and a half. Okay. So, um, uh, we actually just did a show where it was uh, two two double shows, a uh, five o'clock followed by a seven thirty, mm -hmm. and um, there was very little crossover between what we did, and that helps. Sure. <laughs> and also, um, Jeff does a lot of improv, so even though if the song might be the same from concert to concert, it's it's never going to feel the same because of what's happening on the improv side of things. We should probably acknowledge you have a couple of uh, four-legged friends that are in another room. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're on the far side of the house. They are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can all appreciate it. You know, I think we've all seen the video of even the little one, the, the guy who was doing the professional interview, and he had the little kid walking behind. So I'm just so grateful <laughs> that you have time for us today. Thank you. Uh, and hopefully they... Thank you. Yeah. Of course. So you've been playing and touring for ten years. Um, how did you? Were you both playing a lot of music before? I mean, tell me about your kind of musical history. I'm fascinated. I always love to learn a little bit about what brought you to music in the first place. Sure. Well, I I grew up in the theater, and okay. I'm classically trained in the Suzuki method on piano. Okay. As a kid, and my parents. Um, well, I'm one of five kids, and they put all of us in every activity, all of the sports and all of the music things, and uh, just to see what was taken for me, it was absolutely music. It was piano um, and singing, theater, for sure. And Jeb, okay. you... Uh... Yeah, so um, I've been playing music my whole life. Uh, for the most part, I started on saxophone and went to guitar and bass and drums and started recording, um, learning how to do that when I was uh, 15. Mm -hmm. So I've been recording other people's bands since then. It's okay. been quite a long time. Um, and uh, I spent most of my life teaching people how to play guitar and bass guitar and, and saxophone. So yeah, it's, it's always been there. That's really exciting. I know I've heard wonderful yeah. things. I've enjoyed listening to your guitar work. And uh, Danique, I've definitely enjoyed seeing the clips that I've seen and, and heard of you online, too. Um, I'm really excited for what you're going to bring for this concert. Um, as, as we talked about earlier, uh, we are really excited that we have a new piano in the library. We've never had a piano before. And um, hearing you say that you were classically trained and, and enjoyed, I'd love to explore a little bit more about your relationship with pianos. And, uh, you know, I studied actually piano myself growing up and also did classical, but it's, there's a kind of a big jump between doing classical and reading, you know, sheet music and, and not even interpreting, just trying to play other people's music versus doing covers of pop music and then creating and improvising your own. Um, but 
tell me about your journey with this. Like, what, what, you know, what inspired you? What kind of fed your muse as you continued with it? What do you really enjoy doing now with pianos? Sure, that is such a good question and such a good point you bring up. Um, because I was classically trained, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Suzuki method, but it's really kind of an ear training program. Right. So uh, I never really learned how to read music very well. No. Uh, and I specifically remember like sitting down to write music and play pop and contemporary things for the first time thinking, oh, I know how to play piano. This will be really easy. But they're actually two completely different and hardly even related skill sets. I, I actually feel like I had to start back over at the very beginning mm. just to learn um, simple things, chord comp and chord structures. They don't teach you that stuff right. when you're um, trained the way I was. So I thought I would have this big head start, um, but I didn't. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> You may have had the fingers, but yeah, the, the, the yeah, the interpretation, the ability to get your head around it is, is something else. Exactly. I actually found my journey, I, I played piano for a long time and then I played guitar and I found actually because of, you know, it's not linear, there's so many different ways to orient yourself on a fretboard, um, and then I started studying guitar and got into some theory there that I was able to like translate back to piano and think about, you know, chord progressions and, and you know, uh, you know, it was just, I just approached it in a very different way and was actually able to understand some of what I tried to study in piano better from this outsider perspective and was able to free myself up a lot more, too. Um, yes. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But we're not here to talk about me. <laughs> so um, <laughs> tell me about the pieces. Do you know ahead of time with all this repertoire, um, do you, how do you think about what you're going to play? How, you know, what's the kind of creative process for the show that you're going to come and perform here? Right now we're working on a new album, uh, so we have quite a bit of, of stuff that we're still working out and trying to decide exactly how that's going to sound. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll definitely be doing some of that. Uh, we do uh, we do a number of pieces that Danica always says that we wish we wrote. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, like why my guitar gently weeps. From the Beatles, we do a version of that, mm -hmm. and um, and that goes over really well. And well, of course it does. It's the Beatles. <laughs> also, we take our, our audience into consideration. Mm -hmm. You know where we're going to be playing. If there is a really nice piano, of course we include our piano things. Whereas we don't always do that. Um, sometimes there's not enough room. <laughs> Right. Sometimes the piano hasn't been tuned in 16 years, and you say, oh, that's okay, we just won't use that tonight. <laughs> it's a nice prop yeah. in the background, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that happens more often than not. Even at very nice places, I would say. Oh, really? Things, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you would be surprised, so. Yeah, of course, and, and you know that uh, even though a uh, piano may be tuned to itself, it may not be in tune with the other instruments. Right. So that's something consider too. Uh, um, we have been to a couple of places where the piano sounded fantastic, but not with the guitar. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Well, I, I'm hopeful that our piano will read, will, will, um, will earn your respect. We have actually worked with a, uh, we have a, a gentleman who works at Harvard University with their um, piano, uh, a fleet of pianos, and he's actually tuning our piano and providing the maintenance as well. Uh, and he's taking a very personal interest. So uh, I anticipate that, I, I hope that it would be to your satisfaction. So my fingers are crossed. Yeah, yeah I think I've heard of that school before. Yeah, it, it, a couple <laughs> people have. It's pretty, some, I know people who go there, and they just talk about a school in Cambridge, but I think they're just a little bit modest. Which is, which is okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I am super thrilled. You're playing tonight in Iowa, or you're playing in, soon uh, in Iowa. We were speaking right now. No. Yes, we have a show in a couple of days. Uh, this is our this is our downtime, and we're actually uh, repairing equipment right now. We had a, a little mishap where our our speakers fell off of the hand truck. Oh dear. And and they broke. So today. Uh, we're having uh, airmail parts and 
and that's what we'll be working on is getting everything ready to go for that show. <laughs> Well, I hope that all goes smoothly and there's no surprises as you go through repairs. That's always a little less stressful. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's okay. It's the nature of being in this business. Um, well, you know, you perform and you drive and travel and, and things like weather and unforeseen <laughs> uh, accidents happen. Yep. No well, good luck. I wish you all the best with that. We're really excited to have you here in Massachusetts and, and specifically here in Quincy and to, to greet you here. Um, I know we're going to have a little clip that we're going to play after this interview. Um, I don't know if, if there's anything else you'd like to share with folks before the concert, if you have any kind of words of inspiration for other musicians who may be listening to us today, or um, any kind of final thoughts before we, uh, before we sign off. Words of inspiration for other musicians. Okay, yeah. sure. Um, one of the things that we talk about having done this 10 years, it's for people who stay out on the road and continue to do it, that become successful. So if, if you ever think about quitting, all you have to do is just don't. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but, um, but I was told before that, that any musician who doesn't think about quitting at least half a dozen times a year isn't doing enough for their career. <laughs> so it, it's a fine balance between uh, burnout and success. Right, and and you just have to ride that and continue to go. That is solid advice from somebody who clearly knows what you're talking about. Uh, just keep <laughs> going down the road. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right on. Well, it's such a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm so glad, excited to have you here. Please come out and join us here at the library on March 15th at 3 o'clock when Danica and the Jeb will be performing an amazing concert for us. I can't wait to see you there. I saw you walking on a Sunday afternoon When I passed you by You smiled and said yeah, When you're gonna finally make up your mind and call me Yeah, you So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow Got nothing but time, no need to rush, no, no So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow Got nothing but time well, Dinner and drinks from a room with a view And talking all night like we've got nothing else to do and spending our hours like time's been locked up And we hold the key and Yes, we do, yeah, yeah So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow Got nothing but time, no need to rush, no, no So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow and Got nothing but time Infinity, oh yeah, 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 well, in infinity. All right, let's slow this down now. All right, rumor has it that you guys had a really long winter up here. Is that true? Okay. All right, well, we're gonna do the opposite of winter right now. I want you to imagine yourself on a beach where it's nice and hot and sunny and your toes are in the sand and it smells like coconut and your drink has a little umbrella in it. Are you there? So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow. Got nothing but time, no need to rush, no, no. 
So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow. Got nothing but time. Well, infinity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, infinity. So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow. Got nothing but time, no need to rush. No, 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 no. So come on, come on, baby, let's take it slow. And got nothing but time. Infinity. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, in infinity. Infinity, yeah, 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 yeah. Infinity, yeah, 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 yeah.